I think we can unify the ideas of a wormhole and a black hole together with these videos. And the concept is that we are breaking equilibrium. So we, we're on this perfectly flat equilibrium space time that we exist in right here, right now. And for a split second, for a 0.2 seconds, we rip open, we rip a hole in space time. And what happens? It instantly folds back. It's like when the plane disappears, it's like when Hodor is holding the door. Hodor, Hodor, Hodor's open. He's holding that wormhole open as hard as Hodor can open, keep it open. Poor Hodor, Hodor though, he's doomed. He has no chance. And Hodor is going to get stabbed to death. Spoiler alert, chat. Spoiler alert. And so what happens? Boom, space time collapses back down again. So what this would mean would be that we're not going to find small black holes. Why do we not find small black holes? And why have black holes not consumed our entire universe? Because they have to be a certain size in order to become stable. And they would have to be huge to become stable. Because from what we see there, even a black hole that's large enough to suck in a Boeing 777 dissipates within 0.1 to 0.2 seconds. Yeah, because they close up too fast. It's too small. Even a black hole big enough to suck in an entire airplane is too small to stay open for more than 0.1 to 0.2 seconds. Is that crazy to anybody else? Doesn't that seem like pretty logical connection, though? So then the idea would be we would just need a bigger wormhole. And if you make it big enough, you create a black hole to become self-sustaining. So a black hole that's a permanent black hole is so massive that it overrides the fact that space-time is trying to equalize. It can override that force. Damn, that's scary, chat. So that might be, if, if this is true, that's a Nobel Prize guaranteed. Like guaranteed Nobel Prize for whoever connects that. That's like as big as Hawking radiation itself. You're that idea basically takes Hawking radiation, which is the idea that black holes dissipate. That's what Hawking radiation basically tells us. That even a black hole, even something that light cannot escape from, there's still particles escaping from it. And so really the question is, how fast does it dissipate? And the answer is going to be based on the size, right? The smaller, the faster they're going to dissipate. The bigger, the slower it'll dissipate. I'm sure that somebody can just do the math and probably figure out if that's true. And if it is, free Nobel Prize for you, chat. Free Nobel Prize. The next one, which I realized before, which is honestly just a gimme that anybody can win right now, uh, is the connection between the EM drive, the, impo the impossible drive, warp drive and wormholes for a lot of you you're gonna go well obviously those are all connected you've been saying that ashton well yeah i have been saying that because it's real but i just realized that's a, that's a nobel prize right there <laughs> i didn't realize that was a nobel prize because some people haven't been connecting the fact that a wormhole and a, war a warp drive are the same thing in fact i didn't initially for a while i was like is that a warp drive is that a wormhole and then i finally realized oh it's the same thing it's literally the same thing. It's just like turning up the warp drive to maximum. Oh, now you've got a warp a wormhole. Now you can teleport. Now you can just translocate from one location to the next. And the EM drive is actually like the weakest version of it. The EM drive is like you're on your tricycle with like training wheels. That's my EM drive. EM drive is for straight up noobs, chat. And Steve B says, wouldn't the plane be torn to shreds? This is the thing as well that's beautiful about it, Steve. A small black hole that is not big enough to self-sustain also does not do enough gravitational force to rip the plane apart. You see why it's a Nobel Prize now, Steve? So going back to the previous thought of the Nobel Prize for the connection between wor wormholes and black hole is that a black hole has to be so massive that it can override the counteracting force of reality trying to close it all the time. And in a situation like that, 
If you go into a black hole that's like a massive one, you will get torn to shreds. Because the only reason why it can stay open like that is because of how massive it is. A small black hole, also known as a wormhole, doesn't have the mass to tear you to shreds. Now, the flip side of that is that it closes really quickly. It closes within 0.1 seconds. The good news is we only need 0.1 seconds. How long does it take to teleport from here to here? Zero. Any amount of time is good enough for us.